The spiders are coming. The spiders are everywhere. They're crawling up the walls, and soon they're going to web me and keep me for lunch. Which is good for you guys because I'm going to show you a craft how to make cocoons that you can put in your spider caves and freak your player characters out. So let's hit the table and start making those spider web cocoons. Hey crafters, first we're going to make the cocoons and I'm going to use my model magic, right? I really like this clay, it's air dry clay and it doesn't crumble and it's very light and so I like that a lot. So I'm going to get a little hunk out there and to make my cocoon, kind of do it in kind of an egg shape, right? And I'm just going to use this cheap sculpting tool and just drag it across the surface and I'm trying to make indentations look like, you know, spiraled web going around this cocoon and it's just as simple as that. You'll stretch it out a little bit uh, you know, that kind of thing. Squish it a little bit, uh, but you can, you know, bend it back into shape when you're done there. Put some uh, deeper impressions in there, and uh, yeah, that's it. Just squish it back into shape, and we are good. We'll let that dry a couple days, and we'll be ready. So I'm letting that clay dry a few days, and uh, yeah, it looks like great cocoons there. Easy to do. So, and I like them because I like this clay because it's light. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue these to bases, and I made these bases. They're easy to make. They're just out of sand and TP. You can check out my jungle plant vid to find out how to easily make these, cheaply make these bases. So I'm going to glue these on with my Surebonder glue gun, and I'm going to pull some hot glue out from the point of contact with the base. Uh, that will it'll look kind of like it's the cocoon is adhered to the surface. I really like that technique, right? And uh, once that's done, I'm going to spray paint it flat black. So let that dry, and then I'll start applying my acrylic colors, right? So I've got a gray, I've got a burnt sienna, and I've got a light brown. So I'll just kind of muddle those on the base uh, with a brush. And I'm not really painting the cocoon, you'll see why in a sec here. So once that uh, I have that applied, I'll paint the cocoon like a lighter tan, okay? And that'll be the kind of off color of the cocoon. After that's all dry, I'm going to paint the uh, base with a black wash, and it's just black paint with a little bit of soap added for the uh, to make it flow into the cracks easily, right? And so uh, I didn't. You notice I didn't paint the cocoon because I want it to be a lighter shade, so I'm not going to paint it with the black, right? I'll just leave the tan on there. So I'm just painting the bases with the wash, the black wash, and then what I'm going to do is paint the cocoon with a white. So I'll kind of paint that on there. You see I have a bigger brush. I kind of did that uh, with the uh, cocoon itself. And then the smaller part where the uh, webs adhere to the surface, I use, that, I use that smaller brush on there to kind of drag the white onto the base a little bit. Now, um, I, when I painted this on, I kind of almost dry brushed it on. Like I left the crevices in the cocoon kind of the tannish color so that there'd be some variation in color in the uh, cocoon itself. Now I'm going to add a pearlescent, and I really like doing this to webs because they kind of glisten, webs kind of glisten, so I like to add a little bit of pearlescent uh, white to it, and that what that does is it makes it kind of look shiny, and I like that, I, I really like that effect on webs. So I'll just paint that on the cocoon and on the base a little bit. For the last little awesome detail in this, we're going to use these spider webs, right? And it's this wispy material, which is going to be perfect for this project. So here, let's show you how I'm going to use this. So I'm going to use some, pull off some, a little clump there, and put it in my white glue, 50% water, 50% white glue. And I'll kind of squeeze it off, squeeze the excess out of the uh, web, and I'll kind of make it into a kind of a pancake shape, a little round, bit of a rounded shape. Pull it over the cocoons and down onto the base. And you can see as you drag that down, it kind of makes uh, anchors onto the base, which looks really cool, right? Yeah, look how neat that looks. So, so easy. And add a little bit of excess to attach to the base there. And wow, wait till this dries. It's going to be so cool. Now let's hit my table and check out the creepy. Some very simple techniques for a great effect, right? And I think those came out fantastic. They really look great on this uh, table with the spiders, and they give a lot of atmosphere. They can be fun in game. They could have treasure inside of them, or living beings, or even monsters that burst out. So a lot of fun you can have with these. You guys uh, have a great uh, time crafting. Make sure you subscribe and uh, comment if you have any comments. Also, uh, you guys have a happy Craftober, and I'll see you next time on the DM's Craft.